Hey everyone, it's Berm, and this is Level Zero Networking. In the first three videos, we configured ViOS on our home router. Now, we're going to add on to it. A cool feature that ViOS has is that it allows you to run containers directly inside of ViOS. This provides amazing extensibility. In this video, we'll be adding DNS filtering by installing AdGuard Home. While AdGuard does allow for the blocking of ads, it is just software that filters DNS. You can block hijacked advertisements, adult websites, and in general, just websites you don't want the household going to. If you aren't already in your router, let's go ahead and log into it now. I'm gonna be connecting to my device using PuTTY. If you remember, we installed that in the last video. I'll be connecting using the IP address that we put on our dummy interface. Now, let's log in using the admin account we created. Once logged in, the first thing we need to do is add the AdGuard home container image to ViOS. This is a simple process and is done from the operational mode. If you just logged in and haven't typed configure yet, then you're in operational mode. The add container portion is specifying that you want to add a container. Image is telling ViOS to use the next part, for us, addguard slash addguard home colon latest for the container image. Now we want to verify that the image was pulled correctly by doing show container image. Next, we want to make a directory that is permanent. Only the slash config directory will remain intact when upgrading to a new version of ViOS. Because of this, we want to put any volume mappings for the containers in there. Let's create a directory there for AdGuard. With the sudo command, we're telling ViOS to run a Linux command in the Linux shell. This can be done in operational or configuration mode. Here, we're creating a containers folder with an AdGuard folder inside of it. Now we can actually configure the container. Let's hop into configuration mode. Set container name AdGuard is stating that we want to configure the container named AdGuard. And then we want the container to use host networking. This means that the container's network will be the same as ViOS's network table. We also need to say that we want to use the container image that we just pulled. And finally, we need to map a container volume to a host volume. Destination is the container volume. And source is the host volume that we just created with the make dir command. Once we've verified everything looks good, we can commit our config. We can verify that our container is running correctly using the operational command show container. Remember that we can run operational commands from configuration mode by putting run in front of the command. Now that the container is running, we can access the setup portal using a web browser. In the address bar, go to http colon slash slash and your ViOS address, then colon 3000. I'll be using my dummy address of 10.0.100.1. Now that we're at the setup page, click the get started button. We're gonna to want to only listen on a single interface. For this, I prefer to use the dummy interface. You'll see at the bottom there's a message stating we should use a static IP address. This is because you don't want your DNS filter to change IP addresses as your devices will be pointed to it. Using the dummy interface address will take care of this. Next, we need to create an admin account for AdGuard. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to use the username admin and the password admin admin. For your actual home router, you need to ensure you use an uncommon username and a strong password. So don't have a username like root, admin, super user, etc. AdGuard's telling us we need to configure our devices to use it. For us, that's as simple as updating the DNS that we have in our DHC people. Let's delete the previous name server and add the IP AdGuard is listening on. When doing this, make sure that you close your quote at the end. Now let's verify the commands we just put in and then commit. Let's head back over to the setup page on our web browser. Now that the DNS has changed, let's click next. And let's go ahead and open the dashboard. We'll need to log in with that admin account we just created. As you can see, we don't have any queries in there yet. For my setup and possibly for others, you'll need to pull a new DHCP lease in order for the DNS to get updated. If it didn't manually update, you can open a command prompt in Windows. To do this, you can hit the Windows key and R at the same time, and this run window will pop up. Then type CMD into the run window and hit enter. Now that we have a command prompt, you type ipconfig slash renew. This should pull the new lease with the updated DNS. And now, as you can see, we have eight DNS queries from my workstation. Your ViOS can now block ads and malicious DNS at the network level. AdGuard has a lot of great features and can be extended with additional block lists, but this configuration will get you up and running for most scenarios. Well, that's it for this video. 
In the next part of this series, we'll be adding a traffic monitoring console using NTO PNG. If you enjoyed this content, make sure you click the like button. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel for the rest of this series and for future content.